Ian here. I am back this year with a video series. Hope to get these out once a week or once every other week at the latest. Stuff that can help you as a teacher, help you in the classroom. You might remember No Fancy Titles Productions from last year for um, tax reasons. We're not using that name anymore. Yeah, it was tax reasons. We are now definitely not pornographic productions. There will be absolutely no pornography whatsoever throughout the entire series. So let's get started with today's topic. Today's topic is doing email introductions to all your parents. Now you can use today's topic anytime you want to email parents, but I'm using it specifically at the beginning of the year because introducing yourself to parents is something we all like to do. So I'm going to click on Google Chrome down here. Look at that. It already defaulted to having my password in there. That's kind of dangerous. Log in and then maybe do it again. Close your eyes while I do my password, guys. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. It's a little joke I play with my kids. And then I have my favorites, uh, things I access the most often. I'm going to go to Skyward, where I'll be then prompted to put in yet another password. Don't you love how technology streamlines everything? Boom. Teacher access. Now I'm going to go to my classes. Choose any of your classes. It doesn't matter. Uh, since I'm not going to introduce myself to advisory, I'll choose my first gateway to technology class. And now over here on the left, I'm going to look for Message Center. And I will add a message for multiple classes, as it says here. And it wants a message summary. I just say, hello and welcome. I then like to go down and open up this toolbar so you have a bit more uh, what they call HTML, hypertext markup language options. Uh, and then I'll say something like, Hello, my name is, I'll go on, Ian Shaw Miller, tell them about the class, tell them things they need to know. You can attach a picture. Can you attach a picture? I don't see an insert a picture spot. No, but you can make something a hyperlink. So if I want to link them to a video that I've made or my YouTube channel, uh, I can go ahead and include that link. Um, you know, and you can put stuff about grades in here, syllabus, uh, required materials, uh, happy thoughts. You, know, you want to keep it light and breezy. Nobody wants to read a 12-paragraph letter from their <laughs> kid's parent. They'll just delete it like you would if you got one from your kid's parent. So make it short, to the point, happy, positive, all that sort of stuff. And then let's come down here and see what options we have. So uh, only post for students enrolled in the selected classes. So you don't want this to post for all of your students. I like to post it immediately. I post it to family access. I post it to student access. I post my email address because if you are trying to make contact and not allowing people a way to contact you, that makes no sense. And I let the students, hint, students don't use email. They do this thing called texting now, so they'll never email you, maybe like once or twice a year. I post it to the calendar and then I just you have to have a title so there's something on the calendar. This is the calendar to get through Canvas. I always send it as an email though because not everybody looks in family access. So I click this and I just keep all the defaults. Only send email for students in the current classes. I email students, I email guardians, leave the rest of these blank and it will go to the first guardians, the second guardians, the primary, all the guardians. Um, email to additional recipients. Here's where you could add Mark or um, Nikki or both of them. That way you uh, have a bit of evidence when you are going over uh, your contacting parents and how you did with that in your evaluation. So it's always nice to have them as a backup. And they generally like to see the stuff that you're doing. And then you come down here and you choose the classes. Now if you teach trimesters like I do, you've got a mess of classes. You've got to make sure that you look to see which terms they're doing. Right. So gateway to technology. I want these ones that go one-to-one. -one. I don't want my student assistants, but gateway to technology, one-to-one. -one. Uh, and then my two robotics classes that are in um, first trimester. And they have the ones over here showing that they're the trimester classes. Right, Second trimester starts with a two. That's all I need to do. And then you go back up to the top. You hit save, and boom, you, uh, you're good to go. You've got it ready to go. Ooh. I can hear a car horn. Somebody's alarm is going off outside. Sorry, I got uh, distracted for a minute. So, and, and that's all there is to it. Um, this is a great thing to do. If you uh, have any questions, please ask me. Next week, I will show you how to use the same system to email progress reports to your uh, students and to parents. All right. 
Take care, guys. This has been Definitely Not Pornographic Productions, Volume 1 for 2018-19.